Tonight we are going to be looking at straight angles and reflex angles. The objective is to identify, define, and draw straight and reflex angles. You might be saying, well, what is a straight angle? It's a line. It's a straight line and it has a measurement of exactly 180 degrees. How I remember it is if you think of a circle and if you cut it in half, that line that cuts it in half is a straight line and it's um, 180 degrees because a circle measures 360 degrees. Half of that is 180 or a straight line. A reflex angle is an angle with a measurement greater than 180 degrees and less than 360, 360 degrees. So it would be between 181 and 359 degrees. When drawing angles, remember to draw an arc like I drew right here showing the part of the angle you want measured. If there isn't an arc, a person would always measure the smallest part of the angle. So if there wasn't an arc, a person would measure right here. But since you have the arc, that says to the person, I want you to measure this part of the angle. Now, I want you to identify these angles in your notebook. And you're going to label one through four and you're either going to put down a straight angle or a reflex angle. And I want you to spell out the entire word. Looking at the arc, number one, is that a straight angle or a reflex angle? Number two, is this a straight angle or a reflex angle? And do the same for three and four. You may need to pause it because I'm going to move on, but you can pause it and then um, turn it back on to listen to the rest of the lesson. In your notebook, define the following words, and I want you to do it in your own words. What is a straight angle and what is a reflex angle? And I want, you know what, I'm just thinking about this. Why don't you define them and do a picture up for each one as well? And we'll um, share it tomorrow when we are in math class. Oh my goodness, isn't that funny? In your notebook, I want you to draw now a one straight angle and two re reflex angles. Remember to draw the arcs on your angles to signify where you want the person to measure. And with that being said, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.